and welcome to the 162nd edition of Beer Issues. My name is Matt Brucker. I'm coming to you live here from Casa de Brucker, where we're going to be having another great beer that is truly one of uh, a family favorite, so that's why we're having it today. We're going to have the Lost Coast Tangerine. Okay, you're going to say tangerine, that's not your typical style of beer, right? It's a tangerine wheat is what it is. And honestly, a tangerine wheat is probably not my favorite style of beer, but on a hot summer day or after you do some exercise, it's a delightful beer to drink. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this. And another reason we're having this beer is this is one of my father's favorite beers. He loves a tangerine wheat, especially after a, uh, he plays tennis or something like that, because it's a very refreshing beer. So um, let's go ahead. I pour that out. I pour it into uh, what they consider typically a uh, shandy style of glass because this beer actually doesn't fall into the, the wheat category. They consider it in the uh, fruit and field category because of the addition of the tangerine. So we put it into more like a shandy type glass, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna smell this here. Oh, right off the bat, it almost is uh, uh, overpowering the tangerine in there. Um, not overpowering, but I mean, it's, really, really a strong citrusy tangerine. I mean, it feels like you, or it smells like you just got done peeling a tangerine and you're getting ready to maybe open up the first one and just that smell, that real strong tangerine smell, that's exactly what the beer smells like. Let me see if I can smell the weed in there. Man, the, the, the tangerine uh, that I'm getting is so, uh, pronounced that it, it's really covered up. There's a light wheat uh, smell in there, but it's really strong with the, with, the, uh, with the tangerine, okay? So let's not waste any more time. Now you saw, I got a, a head on that, but it dissipated pretty quickly. So the carbonation um, isn't uh, superb, uh, but you wouldn't really necessarily expect great carbonation on uh, this beer, um, as you see, even when I swirl it around, it's, uh, it's getting a, you know, lacing, but it quickly dissipates. So that's why that disappeared so fast. So anyway, oh, it smells so good. I mean, it smells like you just got done peeling that, that tangerine. Okay. So the smell of the tangerines super strong, but the taste is pretty much okay on it. You know what I'm saying? You don't get like an overpowering tangerine. You do get a nice uh, citrusy crisp taste in there, but it balances pretty well with the, uh, with the wheat, okay? Mm. It is nice. I went for a little uh, uh, walk this morning, so this is very refreshing, very enjoyable. I always say a beer like this is something that I like to have after I get done going for a run or a walk or, you know, uh, my dad, you know, plays tennis all the time. He enjoys this after a tennis match because it is a refreshing beer. It's not heavy. It clocks in at 5.5% alcohol by volume, so it's just middle of the road as far as the alcohol by volume. Now, the beer only rates a 79 out of 100, which is considered an okay beer. I'd give it a little bit better than that, but I think this beer, to me, is going to depend on my mood, okay? If I'm sitting around drinking beers at the house, this is not going to be the beer I choose. If I just got done, you know, doing some exercise and I want something that's refreshing, or let's say I'm hanging out by the pool side, this is a beer that I can see myself drinking, because it's light, it's refreshing, it's something that you can, you know, uh, I, I call them poundable beers, uh, which to me that just means you can pound them all day by the pool slide. Uh, but a poundable beer just means something you can, you know, easily drink and enjoy. It's not too heavy, the ABV is not too high to where you're gonna get all, you know, crazy. Now, this brewery makes a lot of great beers. Uh, if you're not familiar with Lost Coast Brewery, 
they make uh, uh, some really great beers. I love their um, great white, which is their uh, regular just wheat or white wheat. Um, they also have another um, wheat that's not the white wheat. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but they make um, eight ball stout, which is a really, really good stout. Um, they make uh, the fog cutter, which is a double IPA. Uh, which is really good. Um, they make, uh, what's that new one? Ghost, uh, um, Lost Ghost. That's it, not Lost Coast, but Lost Ghost, which is their uh, double, I think it's a double New England IPA, which is really good. Uh, but they make all kinds of great beers. I mean, you can't really go, oh, Downtown Brown, another. Their brown ale is very good. Um, just a great brewery. And, uh, you know, I, I had to do this uh, beer because uh, my dad's a big fan of it, but it's definitely a poolside beer or after exercise. I know my dad likes to have them when he goes out after maybe after they do ten, have a tennis match or something like that. Something refreshing, not too, too boozy, but something that he can sit back and enjoy. And I agree. It's a very uh, drinkable beer. It's refreshing, not overpowering. It'd be great at the beach, by the pool, you know, after exercising, however you want to do it, but it's light and refreshing. So uh, if that's what you're looking for, this beer is for you, the Tangerine. If you're planning on, you know, sitting up by a campfire, nah, that's probably not going to be your 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 thing. Uh, you know, you want a little bit heavier beer for something like that. So anyway, that's just my opinion. Everybody's got their own. So... Uh, if you enjoy this, make sure you tell your friends about beer issues and how much fun we're having talking about beer and enjoying good beers, like this great uh, tangerine beer from the Lost Coast. And uh, make sure that uh, if you want any cool uh, gear, beer issues gear, like uh, hats, phone cases, uh, t-shirts, you know, you name it, go to shop.beerissues.com. And as my wife likes to say, I have beer issues.